big boss bass. Ciao, this is Mark Marcantonio. In my last video, I showed how to mount the active target by low rants onto my Ranger. And today I want to show you the steps that you need to take after installing the hardware so that you can set up your HDS, in my case, an HDS live unit to be able to utilize the active target unit that you just installed. So first, let's take a look at the installation that I did. And you will see that I installed in the rod locker. I installed the black box in the rod locker uh, next to my 3D structure scan. And I actually connected the ethernet cable that came with the active target unit directly into my 3D structure scan open port that I had. This way, since I already had an ethernet cable running up the, the bow of my boat, to my front uh, unit, I didn't have to run the ethernet cable up through the conduit, which saved me a little bit of work. And you'll notice the lights are on, the power light is on the right, and it should be blinking between green and amber, back and forth, that's normal, that's what you're looking for. The blinking green LED in the center is the ethernet connection, and that just indicates that you have uh, activity on the ethernet cable. So that's what you want is a blinking green light in the center. And on the left, you want a solid green light, which is where your transducer is hooked up to. And that means that it is working properly. So that's what it looks like inside my rod locker. And I did use the ground wire attached to the very top, which you can see, and that's attached to a ground on my bus bar. And now let's take a look at the transducer itself. So, I've mounted the um, active target transducer on to the shaft of my ghost trolley motor about nine inches up and that seems to be a pretty good spot for it and you can see that I currently have it in the down scan view on my ghost trolley motor and so now let's uh, take a look at the unit itself and the steps that you need to do to prepare the unit so that it's ready to accept and use the active target. So first thing you want to do is you want to press your pages button because you have to tell the unit, see right now of my choices of icons in the center that of all the different applications that I can use on this HDS 16, I don't have active target on there. So I have to tell this unit that I want active target installed in my application tray. And the way you do that is you go to the settings, the gear, touch that, go, go to advanced on the menu, touch advanced, and then look for features and you, you turn that on and this is where you turn all the features on in that application tray and you'll notice that active target is listed but it is turned off so we just want to turn that on and now we can close out of this and it tells you active target features have been enabled and when the application tray comes back we'll hit OK when we go back to our pages button the application tray you'll see active target is now a choice on here so now the next step that we need to do is we need to check our sonar settings and we need to check the version of software that is powering the active target transducer so let's go to the gear button the gear and touch the settings again and we want to go down to sonar and touch sonar settings and on this page you can see what settings are on already established and you can see the software version of the active target by touching active target installation we touch active target installation and you can see we are running software version active target software version 64.2.52 well there is already as of uh, mid-january there is already a new version of software for the active target so it looks like we need to install that and uh, so luckily 
I've already gone to my computer and I've gone to the Low Rents website under uh, updates. I've looked under the, instead of looking for your HDS Live in the menu, look for um, look for transducers on them and put that in your menu. And then you'll see there's an update that is 64.2.54 for the active target transducer. So I've got that loaded onto here. And now what we need to do is, is we need to go ahead and put it inside the HDS unit. And you can do this while this is turned on. This is not like a software update for the unit itself that automatically loads. This is a separate file, and I'll show you that in a minute. So I just put the card in my bottom slot. And let's cancel out of this, and let's go to our Pages button. And go to the Storage menu choice. And that shows me where my uh, what's on my cards in the inside the um, card slots there. And I loaded that software onto the bottom memory card. So there's the bottom memory card selected. Choose that, and you can see I have the active target 20.1, 64.2.54 on this chip, and it's a .riw file. Now, the, when you see a .riw file, that's a file that you have to manually load. It's not like the up .upd files that are your typical software updates for the unit itself. Those automatically load when you turn the unit on, but the RIW doesn't, so you'd have to touch it. And when you touch it, you get this menu, which gives you options. And what we wanna do is, is we want to up upgrade this RIW file to the unit. So we're gonna press upgrade, and you'll see now that it's listed, and you have to highlight it. So we're going to touch it and make sure that there's a check mark in that box. Now it's ready to start the upgrade. And down at the bottom, you'll see Start Upgrade. We'll touch that button. And it's transferring the data, as you can see here. It's scrolling through it, and now it says it's 100%. But wait, you're not finished yet. Even though that says 100%, you'll notice in the center under status, it says it's synchronizing the file systems. So you have to wait for that step to complete. Don't be in a hurry. Even though this progress was 100%, that was for uploading the file. Now you're synchronizing it to the HDS unit. And so you need to wait for that. And you'll get a message when it's completed. You'll see, oh, now it's rebooting the module. So it's telling you it completed the synchronization and it's showing you the progress of rebooting the module, which is exactly what we want. And when that gets up to 100%, it will be finished. The file stays on the card. You can delete that later. In the meantime, once you've updated the transducer from one unit, you don't need to go to your other units to go ahead and update them as well, because it's the transducer that you're updating, not the HDS unit. So all the HDS units on the same Ethernet network will be able to view that, tra that transducer with the current software on it. So it's rebooting the module still. And when that completes, it'll return us back to our normal screen and we will then be able to finish the setup process. And there's another step that I wanna show you on that sonar, on that active target installation page that you need to make sure that you've taken care of as well. We'll get to that shortly. So it takes a little bit of time. You do want to be patient, make sure that your power doesn't get interrupted during this entire process and uh, you'll have no problems once it's completed then. Still in the process of rebooting. So you're seeing actual time that it takes on this HDS 16. Uh, this HDS Live 16 is a great unit to use in the front, particularly with Active Target, which I'll show you my setup screen when we complete this, because I can see my chart, my regular sonar, and my Active Target all on the screen and see them large enough that I don't have a problem seeing it even at my age. So, okay, so the upgrade is complete. We'll press OK. And 
that's all finished now we can close out of this hit the X and we will go back to our pages button and now let's go back to the settings sonar and active target installation touch active active target installation and you can see now it's got the new software 64.2.54 right there so that is all downloaded now that's correct let's hit save and we should be good to go if your unit says no source down here this is my active target window right now and if it were to say no source that means it's not getting a signal from the uh, black box that you installed and so uh, make sure that you've gone through the installation steps like I just showed and you shouldn't have that problem unless um, something weird happens so okay this is the page that I wanted to show you this is a page that I use a lot where I've got my chart up in the upper left corner and you can see with the new contour plus charts that Lowrance has you can color code the different depth ranges which is really a nice feature and then I have sonar up here and that says no source because I don't have the transducer hooked up to it and then here we've got the active target which does have the transducer hooked up to it and the box is on so that is working currently that is what you're looking for and it works real well I've been out a couple times I've been able to see my drop shot rig in 60 plus feet of water with no problem at all let's get this turned around again and so those are the steps that you you need to take to get the HDS program to be able to start using the active target I hope this video helps you out and helps you get through some of the issues that you may have in trying to get all the steps accomplished to be able to work it properly. Now you're ready to go out on the lake and have fun with your new active target. This is Mark Marcantonio. Ciao. I'm the big boss bass. This is my